Hi guys, how are you? Well, this video is a little bit late. I'm trying to decide what day I am going to start putting out a video. Excuse me. Um, maybe put down below what you think. I mean, YouTube says Tuesdays and Wednesdays are a really good day, which I used to do. Then I took away sort of the commitment of whatever day. Now I think I need to go back to one video a week. What day? Anyway, let me know if you have thoughts on that. Well, guys, I've had quite the week and I go, oh, what am I going to talk about? Well, there's actually lots to talk about. I do have my light on. It's really dark in Vancouver right now. So I'm getting some light from the window and I have to turn my light on. So sorry about the reflection. Anyway, um, there was an article in the uh, Vancouver, in the province, which is one of our local papers. So I wanted to share that with you. But before I do that, because you saw, you saw the thumbnail, right? Hot dogs. Okay. Um, I've had quite a week. I actually went over to Vancouver Island, which is just a beautiful, beautiful place. Got to visit with my girlfriend who, honest to goodness, I had not seen in five years. We kept thinking it was a couple of years and it wasn't. And uh, so anyway, I had a wonderful time with her. We'll get into that a little bit more, maybe in another video. I'm so glad I went. I'll just share this with you, this little bit. like getting to her place like how fabulous is this oh it was just beautiful and it was a fabulous day and I did everything you're not supposed to do I put my face in the sun without a hat on and it was glorious okay I have to say that and I'll explain all of that later and then what did I do well I would have loved to stay another day but I had to come home because I had to have a molar pulled Yes, as you guys know, I'm married to a retired dentist. This is becoming quite an ordeal, but, and I figure it's probably going to take me a good year to get through all the stuff that needs to be done. But um, since Bill's retired and, and, and his partner that he was with all his, all his, the years of, of dentistry um, is also retired. So I found a new guy and my kids uh, really like him because they say, oh, mom, he's just like Bill was. So I went, okay, I'll go to him. Anyway, it's quite a journey because you know what? That was one of the fringe benefits I used to get. Now it's a little different. So we'll see where this goes. But I had no swelling. It was really good. Like I really took care of it. Okay. And you guys can't even tell there's nothing there. So that was my week. All right. So back to the paper article. All right. So um, I'm going to share that with you guys as well. And you can stop it and read the article. So apparently a hot dog takes 36 minutes off of our lives. What? Okay, let me explain you guys. I am not vegan or anything like, like that. And that's what this is actually for me personally. This is personal, right? And you may say, hey, you know what? I agree with Lady because I kind of tend to be that way. Or you might say, oh, no, no, that is so wrong. That is so wrong in so many ways. Well, but that is, that's, for you and that and I respect that and and I almost like my dad used to say we can uh, respectfully agree to disagree so uh, this is where I'm coming from and if you disagree well that's that's okay I, I appreciate and and uh, respect your your opinion and your thoughts okay so I went what a hot dog who doesn't love a hot dog like on your picnic. It's actually one of my girlfriend's favorite meals. When she's coming over, what do you want? She goes, hot dog and potato salad. Okay, so um, I went 36 minutes off my life. That's worrisome when you're 71 years old. I guess it should be worrisome no matter what age you are. But you know what? I'm going, okay, so I read it. So this was a study that was done at the University of Michigan. I'm gonna put the links down below because you know this research about eating a hot dog can take 36 minutes off your life uh, is a fairly intense study. 
Um, but then they also, to me, they also gave me a fix. <laughs> and um, I'll share that with you in a second. So uh, do not fear. For those of you who want to continue eating hot dogs, I figured this out, okay? So I kind of had to stop and chuckle and think for a minute because I go, you know, in the, my kids were, were born in, in the 70s, um, except my baby. <laughs> Anyway, um, and I think back over the years and I go, oh my gosh, I can remember when they were saying, and I think they still do, there's studies, right, when eggs were bad for you. And there was even a time when I was raising my kids, peanut butter was bad for you. And uh, so, I mean, over the years, you know, things have come and gone and different studies and different opinions and who's funding, I mean, then of course, who's funding the study also comes into it, right? So anyway, so this has been what I have done in my life, everything in moderation, okay? If I want to have a martini with olives, I will have one. Now, was there a time that maybe I wasn't having a martini in moderation, that I maybe went overboard a bit? Yep, I did. I'm gonna be honest, now you're even learning more about me. But you know what? Over the years, um, I can't do that anymore. But I still have one in moderation. I love garlic and uh, blue cheese stuffed alls, but these are just regular alls. Alls, pretty, they're pretty healthy for you. So, you know, my wine, I love my wine. But I have a glass of wine in moderation. So anyway, so, so, so okay, so we're going to eat a hot dog. How are we going to fix this? 36 minutes of my life. Well, guess what else? There's another study that if you eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, like this one, You're going to add half an hour to your life. So like anything else in life, there is a balance. Yeah, I know some of you go, oh my gosh, you shouldn't eat meat, whatever. Well, you know what? For those of us that do, we're figuring out the ba a balance as well. I mean, if you're eating 10 hot dogs a day, I'm thinking that's probably not so good. But you know what? I don't think you have. For me personally, I'm not giving one up at the ballpark or at a picnic or at my son's who loves the barbecue uh, hot dogs, wieners. So I thought, okay, well, you know what? The day I'm having a hot dog, I'm just gonna plan to have a jelly, jelly and peanut butter sandwich the same day. And that's kind of balances things off for me. Eh, everything in moderation, right? Now, I love, I'm not huge on almonds. One of my favorite nuts to eat, I eat, I mean, I do everything in moderation, okay? I love walnuts and I love pecans. Somebody or somewhere I read said, if you eat nuts that like, if it looks like a brain, like it, you know, when you have, when you see a walnut, it looks like a, a brain, right? Like when, when we see a brain, brain. Then they say, well, then it's, then it's a brain food. So I don't know, at my age, brain food is pretty good. I love walnuts. So I will nibble on, I either have 10 pecans or have five pecans, five walnuts. But I also, I do like almonds. I do have almond milk that I use in different recipes. But I love almonds. I just like them when they're covered in chocolate. Now, okay, these are Bills. I do not like milk chocolate. I love dark chocolate. And you can get these in dark chocolate. I just don't have any right now. And when you have that little bit of dark chocolate with the almond in it, it's actually really very healthy. So you see everything in moderation. And, and that's how I feel about makeup. It's like, 
is not that I don't, there's things that I, I don't wear concealers and I don't wear um, foundation. I love my eyeshadow and I love my blush. So, you know, for me, that's everything in moderation. That's where I'm comfortable. And I think we all have to find where we are comfortable and respect each other. But this whole hot dog thing, I mean, it was just really kind of blew my mind because I'm going, really? You gave it half a page in the newspaper? I mean, we've had this kind of news about hot dogs and eggs and peanut butter and meat. And I know, I know, if it's got a mama, we shouldn't be eating it. But you know what? I, I, I eat. All beef wieners, I love one occasionally. Bill and I love to go out for a wonderful little steak. We love our seafood, but we do it all in moderation. And so whatever you want to do, whatever you want to go out and do, do it in, in moderation. You have to experience life. You're not going to get where I am keeping yourself wrapped up in bubble wrap saying, oh my gosh, I can only do this, I can only do that. No, you got to try it. You got to try it. You know what? For me, I'm a spiritual individual who's here on earth having a human experience. So I need to have the experience. This is, for me, the best way to do it. Everything in moderation, okay? So if you're feeling stuck and you're hearing so much and everybody's coming at you, you decide for you what you're comfortable with in moderation. Guys, thanks for being here. And just remember, you know what? Do everything. Love life. Do it in moderation, okay? If you're not sure. And, you know, and whatever that is, whatever that is for you, you, you do it. You, you Get out there. Have fun. Live life because it's short. Bye.